In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sandwich trim. This is a video request from one of my patrons who wanted to know how to do that. Whenever I am able, I do take video requests from my patrons. I love trying and figuring out new things so we can all learn together this way. I will leave a link for my patron in the description down below if you would like to check it out. There I upload extra content not available on YouTube and you can also support my channel so I can continue making videos like this in the future. We will begin with a one by one rib. You can knit as many rows as you want, depending on the look you want to achieve. Just make sure that you knit the last row at a looser tension. For example, here I knitted my rib on tension one and the last loose row was knitted on tension five on both beds. So this is a sandwich trim. That means that it will sandwich the edge of your neckline of your garment. This is what we will be creating next. To do that, first we must form new stitches and you can do that using a one prong tool or this tool. All you have to do is to grab the purl bar from an adjacent stitch and place it on the empty needle like so. This can be a fiddly process, but with practice it will become much easier. Use any tool you prefer and make sure to test your tension before jumping into a final project. This is why we must knit the last row at a looser tension so that we don't create too much tension when we form new stitches and risk having the yarn snap. We'll repeat the same on the other side to form new stitches on main bed. In the end we will have a full needle rib across. You could also choose to grab the purl bar from a stitch on main bed to form a new stitch on a river bed or the other way around. The outcome is slightly different but not a lot. Apologies for the awkward angle here, I hope you are able to see clear enough though. Okay, so now that we have formed all the new stitches and we have a full needle rib, it is time to knit the first section on main bed only. To set the rib or bed carriage to not knit, for my brother I have to press both partial cams and place them into PR position. Pull the needles on main bed all the way out and knit 4 rows on main bed only. Snap the yarn and re-thread it. Set the river carriage to knit again by moving the cams back to N. Press both partial cams on main bed so that the main carriage will not knit and knit 4 rows on river bed only. Thread some yarn in a different color ideally and knit some rows just like we did before. I switch between beds without snapping the yarn when I'm using the waist yarn as I can just snap the loop that will be formed afterwards, it's not a problem. Just make sure that you knit enough rows, around 10-15 depending on the yarn you are using should be enough.
to attach this type of trim onto a garment, hold it up like so with a cast on part of the rib upwards and begin placing the first section point to point on the linker pins. Make sure that the pearl side is facing you. The next step is to place the body with the knit side or whichever you consider to be the right side facing you. All that is left to do now is to bring the other stockinette section which will be with the knit side facing you and now the body is trapped in between or sandwiched in between. If you would like to see the chain stitch which is created by the linker, if you want that to appear on the right side of the fabric, just place the body with the pearl side or the wrong side facing you on the linker. All that is left to do now is to remove the waist yarn to reveal the beautifully finished trim. I think this has a very professional finish. This can work great for when we do not have any alternative but to cut and sew the neckline for example or if you want to create a collar or any other kind of things that kind of open so you can reveal the inside. Here are the two samples. On the left side of the screen you can see the sample where I grabbed the pearl bar from the adjacent stitch and on the right side of the screen I grabbed it and transferred it between beds. It's a very very small difference but please do let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. And that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned a couple of things. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!